Okay, so let's go ahead and implement the forward slash greet request handler. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add it into our router because this is going to be a new path we need to handle. So our router, we can type in greet and let's delete this for a second because we are going to create a new request handler that is going to manage or handle that request, the, the forward slash greet. So to, to create a new request handler, we type in class and say greet handler and we need to extend it up off, off of the web app to dot request handler. Okay, great. Now, since this is going to be a post request marked by the method in the form, we are going to go ahead and implement the post function. So this is going to be def to define the function post because it's a post function or, or, or post method we are handling. And now let's see how we move on from here. Okay, so what actually happens when someone sends us a post request? Well, the simplest way to find out is to print the entire request. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and print to our console, not to our screen. Whenever we type in the print command or the print keyword, we are going to printing out to our console. So this is our console. We are going to print stuff to our console. Okay, so print self request. So we are printing the entire request, which is coming from the web app to request handler. Okay, so let's go back to our application. Just reload the screen. Put in Michael, hello, with two L's, not three, and send a request. Ah, yes, and of course, I forgot to type in the greet handler here. So I'll go ahead and refresh. We have a blank screen because our function is, is not returning anything, but in our console, we have the entire request being printed out. And here you see a bunch of headers. So a bunch of headers that we're not going to go into detail now, but here we can see we in fact are receiving a user underscore name is equal to Michael and a message is equal to hello. And these characters here are just a exclamation mark, but they are encoded so that they can be sent to us. Okay, so now how do we retrieve these values? Let's, let's go ahead and delete our print statement. And let's say user underscore name is equal to self request dot get and user underscore name. Now, what are we doing here? Well, from our request, we're getting the value user underscore name, right? So it's this one here, which should be Michael in this case. And then we're going to do the same thing for message. So message is equal to self request get message. Okay. Now we can name these variables any way we want, but just so that we are, our code is nice and readable, we're going to use the same names so that we know what we are storing in each of these variables. Okay, so now let's go ahead and print username, username and message and see what we get in our console when we refresh this page. So we refresh and we go here and we see Michael, hello. So great, we are getting our values correctly.